Hello again. This is a tutorial. What is this is just going to be a reference tutorial if you're brand new to Smash Attacks. Watch this tutorial first. It'll give you some basic understandings of everything. First you have to download Smash Attacks. I might make a tutorial on how to do that. It's pretty simple. Typed into Google. Whatever. Open Smash Attacks. Now right away you're confronted with this window. This window looks very simple, small, you know. Up here you have file. Inside it's open, save, save as, exit. Basic stuff. Help about wanting to go in there. I'm giving you all the help you need. Two major tabs. One action events. I'll talk more on that later because it's larger than the other tab which is attributes and right you have to open something first so let's just for kicks and whistles open up everyone's favorite captain falcon so you do that by going file open then wherever your file is it's going to be fit captain dot pack so now you go to attributes second tab and you're confronted with probably a hundred things. You'll notice a lot of them. If you click on it, down here is the description. There's a description panel. It will always be there. No matter what you click on, it will try to give you a description. Since a lot of this is still unknown, it's going to say no description available, not just for attributes, but for lots of stuff. So here, they, they know that this is walk initial velocity, so they wrote that. Down here, the starting velocity obtained the moment the character starts walking. So you can have a lot of fun with this. Here's the value. Now you might be thinking, what the? That's not a number. Brawl and many games use a type of counting called hex or hexadecimal. It uses numbers and letters to make a number. I'm not exactly sure, but it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10, I think, is A. So whenever you see an A, that's actually 10. I think that's how it works. I'm not exactly sure. But you can easily find a hex to decimal converter on the internet. So if you're confused, you can just convert it and see how big the number is. So that's attributes. It changes things that each character has, how many times you can jump. This one here, it's not listed, but 0x060, that's how many times you can jump. So if you want to jump 999 times, you just type 999 in there. Now I can jump pretty much forever. And you go to Action Events tab. This is where everything gets broken down. Every move, everything. This is the heart of your character. Here in Specials, there's the action. Everyone has a bunch of actions. But everyone is the same until 115, I believe. 115 is your final smash. 112 is normal B. These are your special moves. So B, side B, up B, down B, and B. So you go through here. If you look down here, you see all this stuff. You might get confused. Let's just take a brief look at these. Set basic variable, variable sorry, at 1CE. 1CE is referring to a sub-action. So if you went from here to sub-actions, typed in 1CE, you would be able to find what this is happening. It's going through this list, this, then this, then this, then this. It goes to here, then it goes here, and goes, oh, before I go here, I have to go to 1CE. So it goes to 1CE, does all this, then comes back. Similarly, like this, it does this, 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 and if it says sub go to subroutine, it goes to that, then goes here, then comes back, then goes back. So this is really like a tree, this is the tip of the tree, this is the base. This has every single thing your character does. Absolutely everything. Your specials, your running, how much, what you look like when you take damage, your taunts, what happens when snake grabs you everything so in here sub action that's what it is 
Okay, so that you can see everything. Animation is what animation it plays. Animation flags, there's not a lot known about this, but it's pretty obvious. Transition time, uh, it's probably something to do with how long it takes, how many frames in between when it actually starts and when it finishes. No out transition means that it doesn't go somewhere else. So when you jump, you land, right? So that's an out transition. Loop means it keeps going like a run. Moves character, also like a run or an up B. Unknown, obvious, unknown. Transition out from start, same thing. Like if you jump, sometimes you go into a crouch first. Those are animation flags. Event list is very important. Everything has event list on it. There's always main, graphics, special effects, and other. Main controls everything that involves damage, your hitboxes. So if we go to an attack, like swinging, you see that there's weapon collision, all this stuff, and this does damage. It tells you what damage, it tells you where the bones are that are going to do the actual collisions. Uh, main, then graphics. This one doesn't have any graphics because it's just swinging an already made thing. But Mario's fireball would be in here because the fireball itself is a graphic. So I'll explain that. Sound effects, again, swing has its own because it's probably in other going to tell us to go somewhere. It is telling us to do stuff here. And sound effects obviously refers to sound it makes. Other refers to everything else. They put everything in other that they don't really understand yet. It's fairly new. Smash Attacks only came out a few weeks ago, so don't feel too overwhelmed. Uh, everywhere you go, at the bottom here, is the description, like we said before. So if you want to read more about something, you just click on it. Add is unrecommended because it can cause memory glitches, where it's actually too much memory, and it's going to be a lot slower, and sometimes it won't even let you put it in the game. So as not really recommended, modify is the most recommended. Remove, modify will just let you change stuff. So click on it, go into here, look at all that stuff. Uh, remove, obvious, up, down, moves it up or down in the thing, copy, I wonder what that can do, paste, oh my gosh. So these are sub actions, that's it, basic stuff. Subroutines, very complex. This is really, like, if specials and subactions are your body, subroutine, that's like your heart. It's very complex. It's like your heart and brain. It's complex. No one really knows everything about them, but everything uses your heart and your brain. So, try to find something that actually uses the sub. So, that's uh, Here, it will say go to blah blah blah. You go to offset, copy this, control C, cancel, then subroutine, paste it in this box, and go. This is what it's telling you to go to. So it's saying timer, wait, one thousand, that many intervals, then you're actually going to throw the item, whatever it is. So, so this is when you're throwing something heavy. So. And those are the basic things. Uh, it's really important to get acquainted with everything. Like, click on stuff, read the description. That's how you're going to get better. So I hope this tutorial helped you get into the vocabulary and some of the basic things. I'll probably make another tutorial about more advanced things, like the actual modifying of things. So keep toying around with it and have a lot of fun with this great program.